this is Johnny Good. I'm the one who created the videos here on this site on blog-videos.com and I just wanted to make this real quick video showing you why you can ignore most of the uh, installation videos that I created uh, at the beginning of this year. Um, I made the videos on how to create your own MySQL database and how to do your config file and how to upload files and I don't know there's five or six videos out here that um, I created these because at the time that I was making the videos I had a hosting account that didn't have a cPanel on it and so I, I had to do it by hand. Um, there are full instructions on how to manually install WordPress out on the wordpress.org uh, website as well. It all works. It, it is a little bit technical and um, it's kind of intimidating but you can do it but you can do it a whole heck of a lot faster if you have the right hosting account so I created all these um, videos basically because I wanted um, I just needed some extra money I had some taxes I had to pay I signed up for Luke Parker's surefire success system and he showed me how to actually get paid for uh, writing uh, articles and, and making videos um, get some instant money in my PayPal account which is exactly what I needed right at the time so I made a lot of uh, articles that I would have written anyway for my other websites and I got kind of interested in how to make uh, videos for websites I didn't really have any place to put those videos yet so I made the videos I got paid for the videos I got my taxes paid and then um, after I had changed over to a new hosting account I decided that it'd be kind of fun to put those videos out on a real blog to to show people. Um, and the funny thing is that when I went ahead and created blog-videos.info, I didn't use any of the information that I had created in those those videos just you know six months earlier because I didn't have to. I was now out on hostgator.com and they have the cPanel. That's what this is what the cPanel looks like. Now, HostGator is not the only one that has a cPanel. A lot of good hosting accounts have this system. And all you need to do is go make sure that whichever hosting account you choose after you buy your domain name has this blue Fantastical button. And then you won't need to worry about um, any of the database or other information um, that I uh, wrote about in those other uh, videos. Now. I'm just going to show you how fast it is. I clicked on the green, uh, the little blue button, and I'm just going to type, uh, f click on WordPress, and then I'm going to fill out a really short form. Oh, first of all, they want me to uh, click on New Installation. These are the um, blogs that they've already installed for me. Uh, HostGator lets you have as many blogs on it as you want to. They don't charge you any extra. So I've got some already. So click on New Installation first. And now we've got the, the form. I'm going to choose the, um, the website that they're hosting for me. Um, oh, let's see. I'm going to put it on there on weightliftingexercise.com. It's a static site, so I don't want my blog to actually overwrite it. I want to create a new directory. If I had just now bought my my domain, I would leave this second box blank, and then my blog would be in the main page, just like it is on the uh, blog-videos.com. But for right now, let's, oh, let's see. Let's say talk. I, now info that would be more fun there we go so as soon as this is installed in about two minutes anybody will be able to find the blog at weightliftingexercise.com slash info so that's we don't want a domain a, a um, directory that already exists we want to create a brand new one now just go ahead and type in a see if I can do this right uh, an admin name you'll need this in order to get into the back end uh, of your blog uh, you'll need it in order to uh, type any new posts so make sure that you use um, an admin name and password that you can remember make it a little more creative than that though because you don't want other people to use it too now put in your own name or a nickname that you want people to see when they look at your posts and use a uh, an email um, that you see regularly because the, your WordPress blog is going to be mailing you emails um, 
say if somebody puts in a post and you need to uh, okay it then you need to be able to know it's there and the only way they can do that is using an email address that you actually see now under site name put um, whatever the name of your site is weightlifting exercise I'm just going to put in it's easy uh, we can change these anytime we want to site name and description show up at the top of our blog but we don't need to uh, be stuck in stone we can go back and change them and be more creative lately later now if if you want to blog by email uh, a lot of people do uh, then you would just go ahead and put in uh, an email account and your email password here you don't need to do that unless you intend to use the blog by email feature and since I'm not going to I'm just going to click on install WordPress oh it wants one so I guess I'll have to do it okay here I'll just use this one This is just an account that's already set up. So now I'm going to hit it again, install WordPress again. Okay, they've already set up a database for me. Uh, my I, MySQL user is already set up. They did that for me. It's a, a automatic. You don't have to do any of the hard part. It's now showing me that it's just now ready to install the blog at weightliftingexercise.com info. So if I click that finish installation button, and then there it is it will um, you can use this little uh, form here to have Fantastico email you your admin information so that you don't lose your password uh, WordPress usually mails you one automatically but it certainly doesn't help to have a backup and then click on this link that it created for you automatically and it'll show you the back end of your uh, your brand new blog this is a um, this is the admin um, page here. This is the one that you really want to bookmark so that you don't lose it. You want to—it's really easy to kind of forget where that is, and you won't be able to make any posts unless you have it. So bookmark it, click on that, and you've got a uh, fully functioning WordPress blog. It doesn't look very exciting. I'm going to go out here to view site. This is what real people would see if they knew where your WordPress blog was. Um, weightlifting exercise, it's easy, it says it um, exactly what I told it to. And you can see here that it's out on the main page, uh, main website at uh, the directory where I told it to go. Uh, so the uh, Fantastico created a new directory. That's the uh, URL that you would give to people so that they would be able to find it. So there you go. Now, it's a little boring. Um, so this is just the default blog. Uh, template. So obviously you're going to want to use uh, something a little bit more exciting um, or maybe not. Maybe you like it. It's okay. Um, if you want to customize things then come on back to my um, my blog at blog-videos.info and click on the how to customize your WordPress blog category and I've got a lot of information in there on how to keep from getting spammed, um, how to find new WordPress themes, how to install them. Um, there's a lot of information that I've already created out there that and you are more than welcome to use. Uh, and so basically that's it. I just wanted to really quickly show you how to um, go from buying your domain name um, getting the right hosting account again hostgator.com is great that's the one I use uh, use the uh, control panel and that fantastical button and you will automatically have a working functional website within uh, what five minutes it's, it's wonderful it really works great so that's what I wanted to let you know thank you very much for visiting I hope you come back bye bye